Today, I will show you how to make phase equilibrium calculations with JMAT Pro. First, select the material type you wish to work with from the menu. JMAT Pro deals with several types of materials, including aluminium, magnesium, cobalt, iron, nickel, titanium, zirconium, and copper alloys, as well as solder alloys. For modern purposes, iron alloys are subdivided in general steel, stainless steel, and cast iron alloys. I will here select general steel. You will find a table showing all the elements available for the chosen material type, which is general steel. You can input any steel composition you may wish to simulate, or for convenience, go to the file load composition menu item to choose a composition which you may have saved previously. I will here choose composition 5140, which is now loaded in the composition table. In the last part of the Gemma Pro window, you will find a list of all possible calculations for the material type selected. We will focus on the first group of properties, the thermodynamic calculations. Several calculations are possible. You can choose to step in temperature or concentration or both by doing an isopleth calculation. I will choose a step temperature calculation here. Input is very simple. Start, end and step temperatures. Default values are usually fine. You can then choose to select the phases to be taken into account in the calculation. By default, all are included. But if you wish to suspend any phase, you can do this by unselecting the Take All Phase Into Account option. And if you do this, you will see the comprehensive list of phases taken into account. I will here choose to keep them all in the calculation, as this is a standard procedure, and press the Start button. You see that the calculation only takes a few seconds, with a log of progression shown at the bottom of the calculation window. Once the calculation is done, a graph opens to show the results. The standard view represents the amount of phases at equilibrium versus temperature. You will see that five phases have been found, liquid, ferrite, austenite, manganese sulfide, and at lower temperature, cementite. In the right part of the window, you can choose to include or exclude phases from the display. By clicking on any point in the graph, you can get the coordinates of the point, which in particular allows you to easily get critical temperatures like liquidus and solidus. For instance, if I'm looking for the solidus value, I would here get a value of about 1415 degrees Celsius. Much more data is available from the toolbar at the bottom of the graph. You can choose to display more information about a given phase or given element. For instance, if you wish to see the evolution of austenite composition with temperature, press the pH button and select austenite. Let's remove iron from the display by unselecting it on the side. One notes, for instance, that when temperature decreases, the austenite content in chromium, in red here, is decreasing, while the content in manganese, in green, is increasing. This information on phase composition variation will be used in subsequent calculations, like the calculation of physical properties like density, thermal conductivity, and others. Other quantities can be accessed from the toolbar. Data at the chosen temperature point, partial free energy, activity, specific heat, enthalpy, Gibbs energy, and entropy. Let's, for instance, show enthalpy you will find a variation of enthalpy with temperature displayed. Should you wish to see the enthalpy values for each phase, simply check the Phases Details option. A button will be used to toggle between weight and atomic units. For enthalpy, this would give either joule per gram or per mole. Still other buttons allow to choose a temperature unit, export the display data to a file, or copy the data to the clipboard, create a picture of the graph, or save the calculation in a so-called material file used to store all Gemma Pro calculations. That's it. As you can see, making phase calculations in Gemma Pro and getting the right information is fast and intuitive.